nothing to lose but our chains. Rise up. Trans people of color are here. Black trans people are here. We've always been here. Make space. A la lucha. I love you. Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. Immigrants are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. When gay attack, when gay rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. We've got to beat back the Trump attack on America because silence equals consent. And silence, silence equals cooperation. And silence equals death. And democracy is meaningless. It's meaningless without dissent, without protests, without resistance. And so whenever we are confronted with a lawless democracy, a lawless government, we've got a responsibility and duty to resist because no one is above the law. Not even, no one is above the law. Not even an illegitimate president. And so to those weak need Democrats in Congress, you must not enable him. You must not accommodate him. You must not compromise with him. We've got to show Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell the same level of respect that they showed President Barack Obama, and that is absolutely no respect at all. Not someone who fuels and stokes hate, and not someone who, is, who will weaken our democracy. We are one, and we are the fourth arm of government. And so, we have a responsibility, my friends, to rise, resist, and repeat. Rise, risk, repeat. Rise, resist, repeat. Repeat. And we, we will not pretend that it is a victory. And we will not celebrate that this administration is temporarily preserving the status quo when it comes to the LGBTQ workplace protections. That's no victory, my friends. Because the very administration that is actively working to ban an entire religious group from entering this country will turn around in the coming days and the use freedom of religion as a sword against the LGBT community. And you will not divide us. And you will not provide temporary reprieve for one group against the other because we are all in this resistance together. Together. LGDP members of the Muslim community who are fleeing violence and persecution are welcomed here. This is a safe harbor, a sanctuary city, a shelter against repression. And we will stand down a fascist president now and forever. He will not use freedom of religion to legalize discrimination against the gay community and to legalize discrimination against women and trans members and trans individuals. We will stand up and we will not attempt to roll back the progress that we have achieved because we know that love for each other as individuals, as communities, and as human beings is stronger than hate and fear 
and ignorance. And Dr. King said it best. Dr. Martin Luther King said it best. Nothing in all of the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. And so we are here together. We will rise up, we will stand together, and we will resist and repeat each and every time. I'm with you. Let's never grow tired. Let us all together stand together. Our weary feet, let us all remember that we will never grow tired of those who again would oppress us and would violate our rights and our democracy. We must stand together until victory is won, but more important, until Trump is defeated. No ban, no wall. No ban, no wall. Hi everybody, my name is Marco Rivera. I'm a transgender person from Mexico. I'm a member and leader of Make the Road New York. For our, for our LGBTQ Latino community, we are honored to stand up with many other communities affected by the hate of Trump. We're here today defending our rights that as LGBTQ community deserve. We we will send a clear message to Trump that hate and discrimination against our communities will not be enforced in the United States. That we will work together to defend our rights of immigrants, the LGBTQ community, refugees, and the Muslim community. Love and unity among all of us must be the only way to work together and if we need to be on the streets every day, there will be there for a fight to our rights. Because we are not protesters, we are protectors. And we also will build a wall, but a wall of resistance. Resistance, thank you. What a great job. I know it's cold, but the energy out here, that's what's going to change the world. The next speaker, the next speaker is someone who's already engaged in that fight. He was our borough president. He is now our city controller, and he is working hard on behalf of all of us. Please help me welcome Scott Stringer. Man, it is a heat wave here today. I have never been so cold, but so fired up in my life. I've been going to so many anti-Trump rallies. I lost my voice last week. I went to the doctor and he said, you just can't speak for a few days. I said, do you understand what's happening in America right now? We all have to speak up. Look, here's what, here's what I want to say. So many people here today spent a lifetime fighting for the rights of the LGBT community. So many people sacrificed their careers, people got hurt, people lost their jobs. Whether it was protection for health care or anti-job discrimination, or marriage equality, this did not come easy. My proudest moment in public service was to be one of the original sponsors of the Marriage Equality Bill in Albany. 
And that bill became the law, and the court said the law of the land because of so many advocates around the country. We are not going to let anyone trample on this Constitution in this country at this time. We're not going to let it happen. Now, this guy Trump has some emotional issues. See, I figured that out. He's depressed. No one went to his inauguration. He's united the country and people around the globe because we're all out in force. No one, no one wants to go to his party. In fact, they're not going to have a political party when we're done with him, right? They're not going to have a majority in Congress and a majority in the Senate. You see, it's all going down, Donald, and it's happening right now. Now, I just want to say, you know, as controller, I pay the bills in the city, I do the books, and I just want to say to all of you, the contributions, the contribution of our immigrant communities from around the world have made New York the centerpiece of this world. We have to be proud. It's a fact. Without immigrants coming to America, our grandparents and parents and people we have not yet met, this would not be the country or city it is today. I urge you, I urge you to stay the course, to keep the fight up. A lot of people before us sacrificed a lot. And to the young people here today, it is your turn. It is your moment. It is your obligation. Get out there and fight. Get out there and fight like hell. Resist and fight because we need you to bring us home. Thank you very, very much. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. I want to just, y'all can't see this. There's a huge crowd this way, but there's actually a huge crowd back here, too. So I want to shout it out for all sides of this rally. We are powerful. The power that we have in this city is partly given to us by our elected officials, and we are very lucky, I said it before, very lucky to have some people fighting for us at the state level and the city level. The next two people up to speak are two people that have been fighting, three people, three people that have been fighting on behalf of our community, on behalf of all of our communities on the New York City Council. We have Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito. We have Council Member Jimmy Van Bramer and Council Member Rosie Mendez. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. Also, just want to recognize that our colleague Danny Drum was also here, all members of the LGBT caucus. I want to congratulate Corey Johnson as well for his leadership. I'm going to be very brief and I'm going to pass it on. We all know why we're here today. Right? I want to take a moment to thank you for coming out because this is also a solidarity rally. We all know an attack on any one of us is an attack on all of us. So are you standing here on behalf of our immigrant brothers and sisters, on behalf of our Muslim brothers and sisters, we know that united we will push back and defy and resist this reactionary administration. So thank you for the solidarity. We are all one, we are all one in this fight. And so the energy is now to be channeled. So we're gonna to continue to march, we're gonna to continue to resist, we're gonna to continue to defy. I am a proud member of the resistance. I know you are all proud members of the resistance. And the last thing I'll say, and I'm going to pass
pass it on to my colleagues. You know, Trump with his famous tweets. He sent a tweet out yesterday, right? Saying that he wants to keep the evil out of our country. Well, you know what? Impeaching you will be one way that we keep the evil out of this country. Impeach Trump, right? Let's impeach Trump. And we will get evil out of this country. So thank you for defying, thank you for resisting, and I'll pass it on to our majority leader, Jimmy Van Bramer. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. My name is Jimmy Van Bramer. I'm a council member from the great borough of Queens. And I am proud to be a gay married man in the borough of Queens. And I don't care what Donald Trump thinks about me or my husband. I am so proud to be a member of this community every day. And one of the reasons I'm so proud is because we have always known that until all of us is free, none of us is truly free. So I'm proud to stand, proud to be a part of this resistance. It has been a long two weeks. Has it not been a long two weeks? A little stressful. I had brown hair two weeks ago. Some folks can't see that joke, but it was actually really funny. I'm just saying. Um, and I just want to say, don't be tired. Our community has a long, long, proud history of marching and never, ever giving up. Never, ever giving up. So we'll march today, we'll march tomorrow, we will march forever for every single Muslim in this country and in this world. For every immigrant, including and especially the undocumented immigrants. For every woman and the right to choose, that will always be our fight. I send love and solidarity from the great borough of Queens. Let's keep fighting. Thank you all so much. Someone who needs no introduction, Rosie Mendez. Good afternoon, New York. How you doing? We are LGBTQ. 